Hi, for this week we have exceptional settings. I'm for a week in the countryside with my children and I hope you can enjoy the nice colors too. So, today we will talk about the beginning of games, especially of strategy games. And to be honest, the beginning is what I prefer in strategy games. Um, it's maybe because uh, you start with a blank sheet, you know, and uh, starting with a blank sheet is always pleasant in a lot of jobs like programming, you love to start with a blank sheet. So, I think beginning you start from scratch, you don't have any legacy, you don't have any badly working existing system, so it's really pleasant. Also, at the beginning, you have more simple problems. It's like, I just need some power generation. It's not balancing a complex system with hundreds of uh, machines using uh, electricity produced by 50 uh, appliances. So that's more simple problems are probably more pleasant to solve. Also, at the beginning of games, you still can die. And um, avoiding death is a very strong motivation. Later, if you have a big city or a big base, if you do really bad, you will not die. You will like decrease 20 or 30 percent the size of your settlement or the number of your inhabitants. And the fear of not dying is more fun, I think. Also, at the beginning, you can you still have the brain power to build something more optimized. So it's like you know, when you when you have to tune five or four, five or six streets in your city building game, you really can make them perfect. When the game has become too big, you will build something that is anyway suboptimal. Whereas you can really you know build like a small diamond at the beginning of a game. So that's why. I really like the beginnings in city building or base building games. So, so I designed Outer Space Shack so that it has really long beginnings and you can enjoy the beginning of the game. Well, there are obvious reasons for that. Uh, whenever you talk uh, about space, payload that you can bring to orbit or to another planet is extremely limited. So at the beginning, you will need to count every pound you put on your station. That will require you to optimize everything. Also, the economies of bases on other planets will not be self-sufficient for a long time. So you will need to import from Earth and that will limit you. And also it's quite hard for your base to become self-sustaining and to have like um, continuous growth. It's first because of agriculture. You will need to feed your astronauts and build and growing plants even in hydroponics. So it's much optimized, it's like 10 times more efficient than a field that you see in the countryside. Even that, it, that requires a lot of energy. So you need a lot of energy, you need a lot of space to grow plants. So it means that every human you put on top in your station will cost you a lot. Also, modern life, let alone modern life in space, requires a huge number of technologies. And you typically don't imagine how many big factories your everyday life items depend on. So it's the same in space and you will not be able to manufacture a lot of things at first. Like, you know, starting with some uh, building blocks or concrete, it's okay, but uh, you will not have a fab to build uh, computer chips for very, very long. It requires huge investment, huge amounts of energy. So your base will stay small because of that. Also, Outer Space Shack has been made so that you can play the game several times and still enjoy it. The terrain is auto-generated, so every game will be slightly different from the other ones. Also, of course, you have infinite saves, so it's not like you're limited. Some games limit you, I don't understand that. And last, there will be some choices that will make your game very different, starting with which organization you ally yourself with, like uh, playing NASA is not the same like, than playing, I don't know, the Russian Space Agency or is not the same than playing uh, a private entity or is not the same as playing, uh, I don't know, even a criminal organization. We could imagine to have that in the game. So you will be able to play a lot of games. It's not like you play one, you play once and then it's not fun. So hopefully you will enjoy a lot of beginnings of games in Outer Space Shack and really have this uh, nice feeling of polishing a small diamond and not, you know, uh, trying to optimize something huge. And still, later in the game, I plan to have most of the grind automated. So hopefully 
you can still enjoy the game when it is bigger, but I think the beginnings will be really, really nice. That's all for this week. If you want to know more about the game, I suggest you go to the Kickstarter page. Link is in the description below. You can also subscribe to this channel. And uh, Kickstarter is running now, so it's a unique opportunity to get the game at a discount, to participate in the game uh, early design. There are several options, early test, participation design workshops. And, uh, it's run, and there are backers only perks. So it's a great opportunity. I suggest you have a look. And uh, if you like the concept of the game, it helps me a lot. If you back the Kickstarter campaign, and I think that's great value for you too. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.